our first panel today. We have a gathering here of the leading experts in the world on medical and health humanities, and we are focused on the questions of what kinds of research we need to develop and what new methods we need to develop to move the field forward for the next five years. This research has implications for understanding teamwork. This conference is called the Future of Medical and Health Humanities. It's something that they haven't seen before. How can the humanities transform medicine so that it's more focused on the human, not just on the biology, but on the full person with their personal experiences, their stories, their histories, their values, their cultural context, their communities in which they live. Medical humanities is critically important to making a complete biomedical research enterprise. It is normal to fall ill as long as we live. We have a lot of incredible innovative research right now that is driven by science and technology and by big data, but we need the medical humanities to help us understand the human experiences that are at the heart of healthcare and that really shape how we understand illness, and wellness. Without that, our research enterprise is incomplete. Pretty much working with anything beyond N equals one. Rice Global Paris has a beautiful campus. Paris is a great place to convene all of these researchers because Rice is fortunate to have this beautiful setting where we can gather people together. And Paris is a great central location for bringing in researchers from around the world. We're really invested in having an international impact in the work that we do, and this is a perfect place to do it. The staff who work here are fabulous. They make everything go so smoothly. It uh, has a beautiful garden, it's great for finding little spaces for small conversations. The rooms are charming and well-equipped. It's just perfect. So to diagnosis. All of the talks have been really wonderful, very focused and very creative, and we've covered a lot of different aspects of the field of medical humanities and where people see opportunities for development. We've spent a lot of time looking at the people who tell and believe in these stories. It's exciting to see connections across so many people's work who have never met before but may have read one another's work previously. It's actually formed as a group of high school students. I also see a lot of research collaborations that are already percolating across countries, um, institutions, different disciplines. A lot of the talk has been about how to have productive collaborations between academics and clinicians. We plan to publish a special issue of a journal that will include papers from all of the presenters that focus on their area of research and also the key moves that we need to make in the field to drive it forward in the future.